band, okay, to launch the Palisade because they had seven members in the band. And they wanted to show that the new Palisade, all seven members of the band could fit in the car. And they launched the car at the LA Auto Show with all seven members coming out on stage, in the car driving onto the stage. It was one of the most visually impactful launches, I'd say, in the past five years for an automotive brand. So, next question, do they work? I have currently at Division Automotive Group, we've got 10 stores in upstate New York, and between my annuals, my TV, my radio budgets, we select what we call Vision Endorsers. One member from every single one of the radio companies, every morning show, I've got at least one, one of the people on each show, some middays, some afternoons, and those are my Vision Ambassadors, Vision Endorsers. If you look at it, most of the people that are on those shows are veterans in their industry. They have the highest range of followers. Average time on air to do a morning show. If you're a newer, obviously it's going to be five years, seven years, you know, for, for the top 40 stations. But if you look at a country station, you've got heritage personalities that have been on that station 35, 40 years. I don't know about you, but somebody that's been on the radio influencing consumers discussing music for 35 years to have them talk about your brand, it, it, it's a no-brainer. It really is. Who could, who you could trust more that the listener at the bottom of engagement listens to as well. So every month I built into my annuals, they have to do videos for me. Who here has salespeople in their, in, in their dealerships that shoot video, do walk arounds, you know, they throw up the inventory every day on their social media. How many, how many of you use that? Great. When your salespeople do a walk around or, or an inventory video on social media, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is, they're trying to reach a certain audience. If they're not boosting their posts and they're just doing it organically, real quick, who can tell me who they're reaching? Okay, why? Correct. They don't have the reach. Those videos that they're shooting are only going to be seen by their friends on their friend list. They're not reaching the masses. Now, you as dealers can put those on your pages. Hopefully your pages and your likes and your reach, if you boost, you can reach more than that. But if you have 10 salespeople and each one of them are doing these videos, it's just cluttering everything up. And are you really selling on cars? Yeah, they're going to get some bird dogs. They're going to get some referrals. Definitely, absolutely. One and one, maybe ten. So, how do you reach the masses? What I did was about a year and a half ago, I took my endorsements and I put them all in a room. And I said, now, I'm not going to have my salespeople responsible for pushing these new lines. They need to become the experts. So I told each one of them every month, they're to shoot a video. They're doing the walk arounds. I'm not putting them on my pages. I'm making them put it on the station pages. So when they have a reach and frequency of 200,000 people, depending on what demo you're reaching on the show, it's incredible the response that we're seeing. So for the month of July, <coughs> I did seven videos for one of the stores. The total reach of those seven videos in the first run was $56,790. Or 90 people. I had 100% organic interactions for 2,800 influenced interactions, direct people at touch. 207 organic shares. What it cost? Nothing. How do you do it? How do you make sure that you need to capitalize and build it to a zero cost for your store? The answer is the time of the year. Right now, everybody wants to negotiate and renegotiate their annual commitments. So you build it in your annuals. Everybody wants to do all the radio stations, all the radio companies. They're asking for added value, okay? 
Here's something you can do for me. I want videos. Some of your radio stations and radio companies around the nation, they, they charge for to endorse your, endorse your product a $500, $600, depending on the market. They call it a talent fee. I don't pay a dime. What I do, I've got three Hyundai stores, three, uh, three Nissan stores, Buick GMC, Dodge Chrysler, Jeep Ram. I give all of them a car. I throw every one of those people into an SRC, they get a new car every three months. What's that doing? One, they're talking about it organically on their show, on the air. They're talking about the coolest and the newest features that they have. I have one endorser, 56 years old, has been in the market over 30 years, just had a baby five months ago. I've got him doing videos on how to install a car seat in the taxi in the road. It's, it's completely organic, and it's working. Then I had a meeting with the ad agency, and we said, how do we take it to the next level? How do we play off on that? So we had a couple creative meetings, and we decided, let's test something. They came out, they shot it, they had the person, it was, it was all done in maybe four and a half hours to shoot. Obviously, with the restrictions, TV, radio, you're gonna think about, okay, am I gonna do a 30, am I gonna do a 60, am I gonna do a 15, you know, do a bookend. I said, why do you worry about time? With YouTube, some of the other mediums that you can use, you don't have a restriction on time anymore. So I said, let's capitalize on that. Do a couple of different cuts. But this is the one cut, and I'll explain after what it did and where we used it. The 2019 Hyundai Elantra. Hello, I am the 2019 Vision Hyundai Elantra. You can talk? Yes, you can ask me anything. Elantra, can I plug my iPhone in? Yes, I am equipped with Apple CarPlay. Can my dad plug in his Android and listen to his music? Here at Vision Hyundai, we are dad music approved. Sweet. Elantra, everybody says that I'm a bad driver. Let's not focus on what has happened in the past. What if I break you? All Vision Hyundais have America's best warranty. Nice. Elantra, who is that? The Elantra backup camera shows avail of the human species. Oh, oh. Elantra, can I even afford you? My monthly payment is equivalent to 39.8 cups of coffee. Elantra, I love you. You are the wind beneath my wings. Vision one of three Vision Hyundais in the greater Rochester area. Vision Hyundai Webster, Vision Hyundai Greece, and Vision Hyundai Canandaigua today. So, we shot it. We played it at AMC, Regal, and Cinemark Theaters for three months. We played it during Avengers Endgame. Every single screen had that spot run twice before the film started. For those three months, the store sold 106 Elantras when that advertising ran. You notice something? There's no price in payment. It was alluded that it was equivalent to a $5 cup of coffee. No disclaimers. Compliance loved it. It's brand in the store showcasing the technology of the vehicle and generated results. So, taking it a step further, I'm always challenging my team, and my team's always challenging me, to tie more things together. We touched on it a couple of different speakers talked about it this week. When you're up there, everybody relates to you, oh, they're the car dealer. Oh, this guy's gonna come over, he's got a cocktail napkin, He's going to want a car dealer who wants my phone number. He's going to drive me insane. So I don't allow it. It's not that I don't allow the shockiness and craziness to happen. I know it's going to happen. But I take my brand and I hold it to a higher level. So we started doing, about seven years ago, experimental, experiential marketing, sometimes called engagement, event, and special events. 
Every dealer does special events in a row. Can we all agree? Yes? Yeah. Okay. You never really see, and nobody ever tells you, hey, because you did this, I'm buying this car. Every once in a while you get that. But when you do events that enrich and enhance your community, people remember that. So, we came up with, it was a collaborative effort between our agency at the time, and there's the largest running festival in Rochester. It's ran for 110 years, and it's called the Lilac Festival. Everybody celebrates, it's a giant festival that runs Every single year celebrates the, the blossoms, the spring. There's vendors that come in from all over the world. So we decided, let's play off, let's give back to the community, let's, let's find a consumer engagement, but also the overall message was showing people that you care. So we came up with our Drive and Hope campaign. Those letters, you'll see in a little bit, are actually eight feet tall and span 40 feet. We actually constructed them and they were on display along with a couple of vehicles at the Lilac Festival for that event. Up in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a giant Superman S because we also sponsored a Comic Con. For the $300 sponsorship, I did it again. Drive and Hope. These events. All we did was a dollar for a child, two dollars for an adult. We painted their hand and placed it on the structures to create awareness to end childhood cancer in our community. In five days, we raised ten thousand dollars. Then our dealer principal matched it. Do you know the impact and the news organizations and your local TV stations? along with all of our radio endorsers that jumped on that promotion. They usually limit it to one or two media partners in the community for that event. I had every single television, radio station, and print publication shooting that event for those days. You had the influencer videos behind the actual letters utilizing this teaser campaign. Again, no cost, put them on their sites, we actually had, who's ever seen the show Tanked? The aquarium show? They were actually doing a special speaking engagement in town. They showed up and they wanted to put their hands on the letters. So we shot that. That went out as a boosted post. In less than 24 hours, that post alone reached 39,000 people. We're giving back community uh, consistently throughout the community. We sponsor a music school. We actually took, when we purchased the new, uh, one of the new buildings, the new dealerships, we had a little used car center that was on the same property that we weren't going to utilize. A little 500 square foot building, and we took one of the friends of ours in the community who had this music school called Camp Rockstar, and we let him build a studio. He built a place to train kids how to learn to play in a band, what to expect at shows, and for musical interaction. interaction. We gave him the building for the year, didn't charge him, he gave us the sponsorship. The gentleman that is the owner of this is Elvio Fernandez, the lead, guitar, uh, lead keyboardist and backup singer for Dodger. So now we're playing national. Everything Elvio touches, he tags us in. Zero cost. The center one, you do a toy drive every year, you'll see that in a little bit. Local soccer teams, sporting teams, make the teams, because they all have to do fundraisers, make them a part of the campaign. Have them do their own toy drive to enhance yours. They jump on their social stuff, they jump on their, their friends get, to get them tied in, they all become influencers. Can, uh, I'm gonna just jump in on this. This is really a huge point. Can we go back to the, the Hyundai Hope thing? Because um, some, some can't call it. What do you guys call this for me? Because I'm recording, I'm live streaming the group. All right, so can I? There's just a lot of So of course, I looked at him like he was batshit crazy. He was like, no offense, it's like, you can have any car for the rest of your life. 
And he said to me, you look dead by eyes. I said, Sean, absolutely. See, my son Caleb died of cancer at, th at 13 years old. So he lost his, his child to cancer. And Hyundai manufacturer raises more money than the United States government for pediatric cancer. So there's this whole thing, more than four. I know this because another one of my friends, um, Paul Jimenez, lost his, his son, Paulie. And we're on the board for pediatric cancer in Europe for Silicon Valley and Moral, I'm gonna tell you, to impact somebody. And he's not saying, hey, wink, wink, let's go donate to some cancer kids so we can sell cars. That's not what he's saying at all. What he's saying is that the dealership and or your manufacturers are doing profound things in the community, and this influencing is real. What did we talk about on day one? Ali Rada, Frank Kennedy say that you have to be immersed in the community. I didn't want you just to go past this until I hit the Hyundai thing. Mm -hmm. What most, what drives me crazy, I go into stores, there's so many Hyundai salespeople that don't even understand Hope on Wheels. They don't even understand the magnitude that they're manufacturing. Who, who knows what Hope on Wheels is? Okay, Hyundai, Hyundai has a program called Hyundai Hope on Wheels. $15 for every new Hyundai sold across the country in every single dealership. Hope on Wheels is, Hyundai donates to the Hope on Wheels organization the $15. Now, every year in select markets, the hospitals in those districts apply for grants, okay? Sometimes they're grants for 100,000, sometimes they're a quarter million, larger markets get a half a million dollars, depending on the grant that the, that the hospital itself applies for. The only way for that grant money to be released is the dealer principal's sign off on that grant and the award for that community. We do it every single year. And in the past five years, just in Rochester, New York, we have three out of the 400 points. We're at $750,000 to the Children's Hospital to end childhood cancer. I have a client who I'm so proud of. Um, his name is Jim G, the dealer principal of RK Chevrolet. Out of 3,000 Chevy dealerships for the last five years in a row, He's the number one dealership in the United States, Chevy dealership for making straps for breast cancer. And so if you don't think that supporting the community, like not just cutting checks, but they're, they're making movements in their community, your community is gonna support you. Do, does that make sense? This is so impactful and I thank you for bringing this to, to the audience because so many people don't talk about this type of stuff and this is meaningful, it's not just successful or creative, it's meaningful, you know? And I, I firmly believe that, that if you were in a position to help, whether it's just with information or kindness, we should, because it's our responsibility. Do you all agree with that? Yeah, definitely. So what's better than, than being successful and making a difference at the same time? So, thank you. No problem. One of the things that I forgot to mention during the, the, the Drive and Hope campaign that we did with Lila, the, the hospital sent us volunteers. We also had a dealership, all 10 stores, all the employees, obviously volunteer at their time. But the one thing we continuously hear to this day, and this was three years ago, was that the reason they came in the door three years later when the lease was up was because of what we did for the kids that week at the hospital. Those volunteers, I would say 70 to 80% of them all walk cars within the past three years that helped them work with us. So, giving back community, this is our toy drive. Danny's, Danny, we've discussed this many times. Danny does a great, Danny Zelaski does a great toy drive. Um, we do ours called The Reason for the Season. I'm getting ready to actually kick it off Monday. This was started 14 years ago by one of our salespeople over at our Dodge store. And he was walking through a hardware store, that, you know, a very large hardware store chain that was going out of business in Rochester. And, said to the manager, he says, what's happening with the toy drive in the store? He says, I don't know. Somebody will pick it up. I mean, because you've got national organizations like Toys for Tots and everything else. He says, what if I wanted to do it with my company and my clients? So I said, you got to meet with the hospital. So he met with the hospital. This is just one salesperson. Met with the, sales, met with the hospital personally, set it all up. Our ad agency at the time, met with our media partners, got all of their buy-in, their, their footing behind it, got bonus schedules, spots created for free, and it's the longest running toy drive that is locally owned in the city of Rochester's history. Television show, morning show interviews, obviously radio personalities, Sean knows this, it's just funny, 
It's the only time of year I play Santa Claus. <laughs> I will do everything else from behind the scenes, but the day that we arrive with all the toys to the hospital, I'm Santa. So, last year, 10,000 uh, 10, toys were donated. The total cost of the dealer group, we started the toy boxes in the stores, 2,500 bucks. Cost the stores $250 to start it. I went out, got these giant cabbage boxes, wrapped them with wrapping paper on the outside, had some posters made up, and for every donated toy that's new and unwrapped, Sorry guys. Sorry guys. I give them a free oil change. Why do I give them a free oil change? Service. Service. What happens in service? They get the oil change. Folks, let's take a look at the multi-point inspection. I'm noticing your brakes. I think we should you know, talk about your tires. It is such an impactful and, and successful campaign. It's something that we will never let go of. So, what does it look like when you bring all of those points together? I did a little video. Okay, it's Scott Spaziano from Vision Auto, and I'm here at Vision Monday. I heard about the all new Elantra, and I hear it's amazing, and people are buying them to fly off the shelf. So I wanted to see what the deal is. This Elantra has got this lane assist feature, and now I just take my hands off the wheel. Yeah. Come on, hands off. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, I'll take one. Gotta check out the 2020 Palisade. This thing is amazing. Look at the room inside this thing. It's like, hello! If anything behind me will make a noise, if anything's on the side of me that warns me, definitely come on, it's so cool. So if you're in the market for a fantastic vehicle, visit any of the three Vision Hyundai locations, or come find them. You never know which one you'll be at. Don't miss the Vision Auto Group Hope event at this year's Lilac Festival. Donate to the Gavasano Children's Hospital. Make your own painted handprint on the Jack Foster shirt. Inside Vision Auto. And those are all the employees in the store around. It's the reason for the season. Donate a new autograph toy for the children of Rochester General Hospital at any of the Vision Automotive Group's 11 locally owned dealerships, and you'll receive a free oil change. Thank you, and happy holidays. Can we pause this? With Sean and Krista Brennan. Pause it, guys. It's you have to. They out kids. I, it's on you. You got to press the button. Never mind. Never mind. All right, cool. This was our newest campaign. Let's make good things happen. Vision decision. I'm the one going after. Nine incredible car lines, eleven locations, and the best sales and service experience in the business. There's a reason Vision is number one in the Rochester area. Beep, beep, yeah. If you love to drive, Vision makes it come alive. You love to drive. You love to Okay, two things with that. One, you'll notice the Make Good Things Happen, the, the Sean and Kristen Brennan. That was the campaign we just launched last month. Playing off of the influencers, playing off of the experimental, playing off on the real giving back to the community. Each one of the brands, I focused on a Make Good Things Happen spot. I took a real customer from the store, shot it, but every spot was different. So for my Dodge store, it was a former, or it was a veteran of the, of the Army, who's an RN nurse. His charity of choice that we selected was the local American Legion. The whole month that spot ran for RAM, it focused on the American Legion and what they do to give back to the community. For the Nissan stores, we had two members of a local band that purchased two Nissan Rogues from us. They're giving back to an organization in Rochester called Ibero. Ibero focuses on the Latin community, and Vision's been a partner of them for the past three years. They actually recognized us this past year as their Golden Partner Award and Friendship Award, and it was showcased in the spot as well. For Hyundai, obviously, we had to do Hope on Wheels. There's nothing bigger for an organization for a Hyundai dealer than Hope on Wheels, and the manufacturer loves it. For our view at GMC program, we aligned what's called a, a program with Autism Up, where we have a link up program where children with special needs 
that are higher functioning uh, committed to it, and it's a work study. So they're learning how to stock in cars. They're learning how to detail. They're learning how to do PDI and prep, and we're paying them. It's not like an internship. It's an actual first job for them. And the statements that it makes and the impact in those communities speaks volume when you're talking about that. The last part of it is your overall brand. The brand is what brings everything together. The people understand what the brand is. The people see the brand. They're influenced by the brand. And the, the, the branding spot that you saw was our launch from three years ago? Three years ago. So now, getting back to where we're at in the second part of the presentation, it's time for me to get a little crazy and emotional. This is so funny. Last night, we were at the bar, Josh and myself, Shane, we were talking about a couple of things because Sean and Karen and the team over at Dealer Synergies really kept this under wraps and kept it quiet. Um, but when Shane found out, it was like hitting him in the face with a sledgehammer. So we have a company in town called Jay. They're here today, the folks. And they have probably been in the Rochester community, one of the most influential marketing agencies that anybody has ever dealt with. Every single person I can honestly say in this room has been influenced at one point by their work, and you don't even know it. You know it, you remember it, when you see it, it's gonna click. Whoever, who in the room has ever heard of Wegmans? Wagons is a superstore grocery chain <coughs> based out of Rochester, New York. They just opened their first <coughs> store in Brooklyn at the Brooklyn Navy Yard. <coughs> How many people for it in line? 3,000 the first day? Oh my God. For a grocery store because of what it is. When we were looking as a group to really make that statement, that initial push on our brand, we turned to the professionals. My background, I have a strong media background of 15 years. There had been nobody more influential in my life in that media, media background than what the folks over at Jane did. And that goes to show, and that goes to say, for all of the companies that we all work with in Rochester. So, I'm gonna bring them up in a second, but just to give everybody that tease of who they are, I'm gonna take you guys back. Okay. Sean has thrown the word Emmy out. So many awards, there's so many, so many times they have been recognized. And you'll see now how it all began, really. <laughs> Does 
my wife. Um, when it plays, she says, ka uh, <laughs> It helped pay for our 35,000 square foot production facility, that baby, long time ago. Um, I did want to say to you that when HBO came to us, they were known as home box office. And the first thing my animation partner and I said was, call yourself HBO, you'll sound more like a network. And at that point, we had done CBS Movie of the Week, ABC Movie of the Week, both of which ran over 10 years, and NBC Movie of the Week, and uh, also had worked on the Olympics for NBC, and I'll tell you that is a separate story. And so Michael Fuchs, the chairman at the time, said to myself and my partner, he said, uh, look, I want the biggest, most expensive movie opening ever made. I went, you sure you want this to be the most expensive? I mean, it was like a dream for people in our business. Because he said, I don't care what the budget is, I want it to stand out. And ironically, we just redid the whole thing, a new mix, a five to one mix on the music and the opening, uh, because they're using it again in honor of their history, which has been built up and they've been purchased by AT&T, Time Warner. And uh, so it's a big deal to them. They use it all the time because it says something special is coming from HBO. I have it on my phone as my ringtone, and they're about to make it available as a ringtone. Because when I'm on the road, and I'm about to pass 7 million miles traveling, and when that phone goes off, if a guy's checking me in, hey, that's the HBO thing. It's part of branding, which is what I'm here to talk to you about for your stores. It's a very, very important important thing to discuss because your personal branding and the branding of your stores, either if you're a general manager, if you're the, uh, the owner, operator, the bottom line is your brand is the most important thing you can do. And we branded the Golf Channel. We launched the Golf Channel. I was down there when it was a hole in the ground in Florida. And believe me, this is an all-important thing. I worked on the Olympics. And uh, I came in with a demo. I wrote a song called Here Together Is One, and I pitched it to NBC, and they made me head of music and promotion. And the uh, head of sports, Don Omeyer, said to me, hey, you put the, uh, the old NBC radio sig in there. Bong, bong, dong. And I said, yeah. And the peacock and that is part of your brand. Why aren't you using it? He said, you're absolutely right. He became president of NBC, so when you see that, your old pal from Rochester, New York, talked him into it. Um, <laughs> that's a true story. Uh, you can flip this. I want to move on. Wegmans food stores were mentioned. And for those of you who mentioned that you know Wegmans, how do you happen to know Wegmans? I live in Canada. You live in Canada. Canada, New York is a spectacular, gorgeous lakeside community. Rochester is surrounded by five lakes, the Finger Lakes. And it's 20 minutes, 25 minutes to any lake you want to see, including a big one, Lake Ontario. Wegmans is the number one rated supermarket in America year after year after year. 101 stores, they're 150,000 square feet. Their theme, their brand theme is, we've been with them for over 30 years. Their brand theme is every day you get our best. And the important point about Wegmans, and the reason I brought it up to you, is because, ladies and gentlemen, this is part of their brand. They are the greatest internal brand company you have ever met. The Wegmans family, Danny, who is a peer of mine, who is the chairman, and I am the chairman of our company, his daughters are just the loveliest people you've ever met. His one daughter was interested in my son in high school, and I was, dude, go there, boy. <laughs> this is a billionaire family. He married a very lovely girl and gave me four grandchildren. So. Uh, but Wegmans takes the brand to the floor. Danny Wegman goes around, hi, I'm Danny, to every employee. They tour the stores in groups. They are like the Stepford wives, the people who work for Wegmans. They're all so happy because they don't lay off anybody. They pay terrifically to give people health care. And the other big thing is, generationally, people who run divisions at Wegmans, their family then joins Wegmans. They have multiples, like 40% of their employees are second generation, and that's a fourth generation family-owned business. I believe they're about 15 billion in sales now. If you want to emulate quality in your stores, 
This is what Wegmans does. Their people are the happiest people you've ever met. Somebody will say to me, oh, I've been here for 20 years. They started as a, as a bagger or as, as a checkout person, and they now have a major position. They pay multiple six-figure salaries to managers and seven-figure salaries to upper management, and they give them cars. It, it's an amazing, amazing company. And if you ever get a chance to visit one, they're about five times cooler than Whole Foods. They're an amazing, amazing company. Emulate down to your floor Wegmans. And if you go online and read about them, all you are raves. You mentioned they just had an opening in Brooklyn, 3,000 people in line. We did the opening in Raleigh the week before, 3,000 people in line to see what Wegmans is all about. Now, I want to show you just an example of what we did for them. This happens to be a Christmas commercial. And these guys are just something else in the way that they deal with their customers. It's holiday time. It's time for the Wegmans. There'll be entrees and trimmings and shrimp cocktail too. Want to turn that up? All kinds of veggies and cookies for you. But do you recall the best thing of all? Wegmans can help with everything for your holiday. were actually shot daylight and we animated them. That's their organic farm you saw at the end. And that store with the clock tower is the look of their stores across the country, everywhere but New York, because they didn't want to do it in New York because they did a totally different kind of layout for the Brooklyn Navy Yards. Then you guys say, okay, you talked about HBO and all this other stuff you've done. What about the car business? My father was a general car uh, sales manager. I was brought up in the business. We did our homework in closing rooms. I used to hear all the stuff, all of them trying to draw them in. Well, my wife will have to come over and all the rest of it that you've all heard over the years. And my father was a classic. We were purchased by McCann World Group and IPG in 1996 because we were doing 75% of the country for Buick GMC. We started out in Rochester, we went to Florida. A lot of people go on vacation in Florida. We shot Florida for Florida and dealers would go to their on vacation and they ask us to come to their market. And then we shot California for California, we did the whole South, just about 75% of the country. And GM went to McCann and said, you gotta buy those guys because they get retail and you don't. What happened is we were called in to be a consultant to low advertising, which was doing GMC. And they had a concept of upgrading the car, calling the car professional grade, and the dealers weren't buying it. The dealer council didn't like it. And I had worked with so many dealers over the years who would complain about Chevy's got the advantage. I mean, it's cheaper. It's basically the same truck, which is not altogether true. But they, they were really felt it was disconcerting that they had a disadvantage. So we sat in the meeting, and I kicked out. I said, how about move up? The young lady who worked for me said, how about upgrade to professional grade? I said, that's it. That's the line. And I said, what you have to do is you have to brand the dealers as the pros because truck customers want to deal with professionals. I knew that from my many years living in the business. And the bottom line is we are professional grade has become the most respected brand at GM. And I've heard that from the chairman of the company. Uh, we are professional grade. See the pros at your GMC dealer. Upgrade to professional grade. We gave a reason for the expense difference. And that's how it was successfully launched. And let me see what we've got next. My buddy who's uh, flipping this for me. Here's what happened. 
I've given you this whole thing really quickly because I don't, Sean, I know we're behind and I don't want to hold you up here. No problem. I do, folks, I have to take a second. When I was hypnotized last night, I could hear people talking ah. and I have no recollection of being, saying this, but I called Sean an asshole, which I had no idea uh. why I said that. <laughs> My brother said, you called Sean an asshole. I said, I like that. He said, I, was, I could hear people talking, and if you've never been hypnotized, this is my third time. It's a very bizarre feeling, and you do sleep better afterwards. But so wait, 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 wait. Here, here's, I've been called an asshole a lot, but never by an Emmy Award winning director <laughs> composer. So that shit's okay with me. I'm just saying. <laughs> if he's not, he is not even remotely an asshole. I am so impressed by this conference. It was a last minute decision to come here, and I'm thrilled. And I'm so proud of his daughter. I already told her this. I love the way she goes out on video, not only to her community, but in general. I was so impressed. It's classy, it's simple, because the number one thing we have to build in your dealerships is trust. We have a $400,000 commitment a year to data and information and research. Your customer wants to trust you. And if you've got big monkeys on the roof and all that stuff, trust me, this new millennial customer is not trusting you. That's old-fashioned car stuff. And if it's still working for you, fine. I see a guy in Scottsdale with his shirt open. And I live in Scottsdale part of the year. And he's got his shirt open and a hairy chest and a gold chain. And he's pitching and pointing at you and everything. It's gone. It's over. It's a whole new world. These people there searching, they know what they want, they want to trust you. So do your, so the people who work for you, by the way. Okay, let's move on. This is Schumacher Automotive. This has been a client of ours since the mid-80s. Dick Schumacher was the number one profit GMC, GM dealer in America with one Buick store. 300 cars minimum a month he sold in Palm Beach. His son took over, I know when he was a bachelor, he's now got five kids, and we've done this advertising ever since. And what they wanted to do is show how they had grown past this Buick store. And he now has 18 car lines, three major, major outlets, Delray, North Lake, and Palm Beach. And this is a really uh, class act dealer. He's in the stores, he's around the stores, and he, and he has his, all of his people wear white shirts and ties and jackets. They don't necessarily wear the jacket all day in the heat of Florida. But they're dressed to do what he believes and we believe is the second most important investment you're going to make. It's class. That doesn't make him more expensive. He's very competitive. But he wants his people to emit class and something that you're going to trust to do business with. He's a terrific guy. And when we took over and, and graduated along the way with him, we decided to take what we knew worked for Wegmans, which was a family theme, because they really are a family business. So Chuck makes the invitation, come join the family. So I'm gonna show you a very soft commercial that we produced for him, and then show you how it evolved in just a moment. Yeah. Family means more than showing a name. They give without expecting anything in return. They're teammates who've got each other's back. Soulmates who have each other's hearts. Families say good morning and mean it. Families treat their members with trust and respect. For four decades, we've made it our goal to bring wonderful transportation to the Palm Beaches. I mean it when we say, Schumacher, come join the family. Now, you're gonna see some of you guys Jeez, for this pretty soft spot. Well, we also run what I would refer to as pretty hard sell retail commercials. Uh, this is a commercial that we developed for the Hispanic market. I had long urged them to get into the Hispanic market, and the percentages in Palm Beach were not as high as they are today, which is over 20%, and they agreed. And here we created a story that I'm so proud of in that this young man worked for Schumacher, and eventually went from being a service desk rider before they had moved cars, etc. You know, the 
really entry level kind of thing and let him tell you the story in English, although we also did it in Spanish. I'm Deion Sanchez. I have heard that Schumacher was a respectable company to work for. I started in the service department. I learned all about that part of the business. The Schumacher family has allowed me to grow. From service, I was promoted to sales, then sales manager, and today, I'm a general sales manager. Schumacher has allowed me to grow personally as well. I've had the chance to buy a house and raise a family here in South Florida. I hope you will come join the family. I'm Chuck Schumacher. Come join the family. Folks, I have got to tell you, their business in the Hispanic community, in Hispanic, uh, we did Hispanic, all the Hispanic advertising for Florida for years, all for California, which is a different Cuban versus Mexican. And I will tell you something, when you reach out to the wonderful customer who shops as a family, you will rock and roll. And their business is through the roof on the Hispanic community since we introduced this campaign. Now, to show you that we do, don't, don't do everything soft, here's a commercial for a CDJR sport. Schumacher Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is your truck headquarters. Grab hold of the power and luxury of the all new, totally advanced Ram 1500. During Ram Power Days, lease your 1500 Express Car Cab for just $99 a month or get up to 20,000 off MSRP on a Ram 2500 Laramie. Only at Schumacher Del Rey. Schumacher is your truck headquarters. Come join the family. An engaged dealer. Um, he just does a fabulous job in South Florida and is consistently totally 